Alright everybody, and now, phase 3 of my video game collection, part 3, my PlayStation 4 games. So anyway, let's begin. This one's a Japanese import of Blade Arcus from Shining X. I also do have Blade Arcus Rebellion from Shining, which I bought just recently for the Nintendo Switch. Go on now for Tengeki Bunko Fighting Climax. No, Fighting... No, yes. Climax Ignition for PS4, PS3, and PlayStation Vita. And it also has an ad for Miracle Girls Festival. The manual. And just some DLC voucher. Which you know, I don't care. Disc. Blade Strangers. Featuring Cave Story, Binding of Isaac, um, Cave Story, I think I might have said that already, Code of Princess, Azure Striker Gunboat, etc. Oh look, instruction booklet. You don't see that with every PlayStation 4 game, which is actually quite rare to see. Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Manual once again. Only on PlayStation. Blaze Blue Prostate Battle. I also have this on Nintendo Switch. Comes with a, with a miniature CD. Which I'm not going to bother showing it to you. Just like what I did with Dengue Kibunko Fighting Climax on the PS3. Insane Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I get all the end puns. Insane. <laughs> Invincible. Incredible. You know, this and that. This game's also on Nintendo Switch and Xbox One, as well as Steam, which I was not expecting at all. Dark Souls Remastered from From Software. Destiny, NES there is Destiny 2, which came out almost a couple of years ago. Don't care. Don't care.
Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Only on PlayStation. This game originally came out in 2015 in Japan for the PlayStation Vita. And then it came out almost a year later for the PlayStation 4 and Vita systems. Pro didn't come out until 2017 in Japan for the PS4. Disgaea 1 Complete. Disgaea, which originally came out in 2003. A true masterpiece, dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Those printies are hilarious. They always say, dude. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Go on ad for Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. And this warranty thing. Important health. And you got a reversible cover art. See? I have two games like that on my PlayStation 3. And I might have another one like this. Oh, yeah, I do. On my PlayStation 4. And that was Blade Strangers. We'll see if we all have another one soon. And that's Disgaea 1 complete. Here's Dissidia NT Final Fantasy, published by Square Enix and Te Koei Tecmo Games, and the developer is Team Ninja. <laughs> My favorite characters in Final Fantasy would have to be uh, Noctis, Tidus, and, um, Tidus and, and Cloud Strife. Got an ad for Kingdom Hearts 3 and the complete edition of Final Fantasy 14. With Stormblood, Heavensward, and A Realm Reborn, which you know, I, I'm not going to bother replying to them because I don't care for online games. It's not that I hate them, I'm just not interested. Plus, I play offline. Which I said like multiple times already. And yes, I'll show you Kingdom Hearts 3 soon. Which didn't come out a year later after this game came out. Thought Hack GU Last Recode. Which, you know, I was not expecting this at all. I did not expect Thought Hack to be released on PlayStation 4. <laughs> Honestly. Never even expected this. And yes, it's from the developers of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series. Here's Dragon Ball Fighters. I also have this on Nintendo Switch. The developers Arc System Works. <laughs> Also on Xbox One, and I do have it on Nintendo Switch. Oh my god, the soundtrack just kicks ass! Dragon Ball Xenoverse. <laughs> Also on Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, and Steam. And speaking of Xenoverse, here is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And yes, there is a version of this on Nintendo Switch, which came out in fall 2017, almost a year later after this game came out, for the PS4 and Xbox One and Steam. Same thing for, for Dragon Ball Fighters, the Nintendo Switch version did not come out until later, and a few other PS4 and Xbox One games that were originally released. 
And then later on in poor Nintendo Switch. But anyway, enough said. Animals on Warehouse deals inspected. Only on PlayStation. Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of Despair. Published by Axeed. And a D3 publisher. And look, you got your manual. Another reversible cover art. Look at that. <laughs> oh well, I'll be fine. This one is Exist Archive, the other side of the sky. Which I do not have the original cover art for it, but oh well. Disc and manual. I wouldn't be surprised if this game came to Nintendo Switch, which I would not mind at all. This one is Fate Extella the Umbral Star. I do have Fate Excel link on my Nintendo Switch. And yes, this was my first PlayStation 4 limited edition that I bought. In case you're wondering, I got the um Nobel whatever it's called. No. Manual, disc. Well, I do have the limited disc. Just let me check really fast. It's called, um... Just give me a sec, guys. It's... Noble Phantasm Edition. Yeah, that's what it is. Noble Phantasm. Alright, moving on. This game I got for Christmas in 2016, which is Final Fantasy XV Day 1 Edition. Reversible cover art. And it looks like we do have some inserts inside. I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. And just some DLC, which I don't care for. Which does not expire till almost 10 years later. I think this game was originally supposed to come out on September 30th, 2016. But then it got pushed to two months later. Got some ads inside for I Am Sestina, World of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy XIV Online includes a Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word available in 2017. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, which is also going to be on Nintendo Switch and Play no Xbox One. Dragon Quest Builders. They also made a sequel of it just recently, and Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Final Chapter Prologue. Which actually came out in January of 2017. This one, this game's an action role-playing game. Gravity Rush 2. Bought it alongside with the Universe 2. From Sony Interactive Entertainment. Going out for Gravity Rush Remastered and just some downloadable content. Gravity Rush 2, Another Story, The Orc of Time, Raven's Choice. No, wait. 
Here's Guilty Gear Extra D Sign. Which is also on PlayStation 3. Going on for Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma on PS3 and Vita, as well as an ad for Undernight Inbirth for the PlayStation 3. And only on PS3. No PS Vita or PS4 versions. And speaking of Guilt Gear XRD, here is Guilt Gear XRD Revelator. From the developer, Arc System Works. No ads inside, but oh well. Also on PS3, and there is your disc. Infamous Second Son. Funny thing about this game, this game is Z rated in Japan. Kind of strange if you ask me, because this game is rated T for teen, almost close to being rated M for mature. Launch title for the PlayStation 4, Killzone Shadowfall, which takes place many years after Killzone 3. Now, this game I mentioned earlier when I showed Jet Decidia and T Final Fantasy. And here it is, Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh my god, this game took forever in development. And it's got Pixar in it. So I'm now for World of Final Fantasy, Maxima. And I now for Kingdom Hearts Union X for mobile, which you know. I don't play mobile games. I don't care for mobile games. They're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. They just go on and on forever. And they just get so much harder. <sighs> but anyway, enough of that. My first PlayStation 4 Steelbook. PS4 console exclusive game King of Fighters 14 which came out five years after King of Fighters 13 look at your steel book disc One of the first PlayStation 4 games that we bought is Knack. And yes, before the launch of the PlayStation 4, they actually sold some accessories early. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. 
And yes, I do hear that the Avengers Endgame will be coming out this year. And I am going to see it. Captain Marvel. It's not expire until... <gasps> oh my god! $27.99! I'll be dead by then! I don't even know if PlayStation Network will be up then. Oh my god, that's a long ass ways away. That's like 700 years later. And yes, Captain Marvel, which was recently released, it came out on March 7th, 2019. But anyway, let's move on. Day 1 edition of Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. As Solid Snake awakes 10, no, 9 years later, after what happened in Ground Zeroes. Oh my god, 20, 20.99. The DLC content. Ugh. And yes, this game is also on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, and PC. Moving on. Metro Exodus. No, no, my mistake, I meant Metro Redux. Contains Metro 2033 and Metro La Last Light Redux. And yes, there is a new Metro that came out, which is Metro Exodus. You know, just recently for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Which I'll probably buy one day for my Xbox One, which I'm more interested in buying. Tell you what. Moving on. My second PlayStation 4 import is um, Million Arthur or Can of Blood. And yes, this game kicks ass. The music kicks ass and the characters are fucking awesome. I don't care for that. <laughs> Square Enix membership. And just some DLC code. A million north of Cannibal Blood. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, the last game in the Ultimate Ninja Storm series. Play anime. I'll show you that game soon. Also on PS Vita. Jumpstars Victory vs. Plus. I have that on my PS3 as well as Tales of Zestiria. And available now. No. It says pre order now at the time. One Piece Burning Blood. Which I'll show you soon. And here's your disc for Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. My second PlayStation 4 game that I have bought, Need for Speed Rivals. It's going to add for FIFA 14, another launch title for the PS4, and an ad for Need for Speed, the movie itself, which came out on March 5th, no, March 14th of 2014, released by Touchstone Pictures and DreamWorks. <laughs> Oh, 
Also on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PC. Speaking of Need for Speed, here is Need for Speed 2015. Here's NHL 15. Near Automata Lord of Mankind Yorha Two B and Nine S Developed by Platinum, published by Square Enix. Nitro Plus Blasters, Heroes Infinite Duel. This game is also available on the PlayStation 3. Featuring Super Sonico, Gargantia, um, and a few others. And yes, yeah, Super Sonico was in um, Super Hero and Chronicle. And one of these characters moves include, let's see, oh. Angelo Balzac, Amy, Sunimori Akane, Takeo Yuki from School Alive. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Any more characters I recognize? Not really. Oh, wait. Here's one. Saber. Mm -hmm. Enough said. Forged by Atlas, developed by Vanillaware. Old Sphere or left leave leave left left us here. It's pretty hard to say. No manual. But oh well. Same thing with the next game from Atlas, which also does not have a manual. And it's in the steel book as well. Plus my second PlayStation 4 limited edition. But for now, here is One Piece Written Blood. Which is a fighting game of One Piece. Which was the first time that One Piece came to Xbox One. I wish they could have released Xbox... No, One Piece on Xbox 360. That's what they should have done. Damn it. Come on, you... Disc. Oh. Here's what I was talking about earlier. And this is Persona 5 in a steel book. We're here to take your heart. Didn't come with any anything inside inside. But just this. There's Joker and his friends. 
aka um, Akira Kurusu. And yes, this is a limited edition. I have a box in my closet. I'm not going to bother showing it to you for this video, which I don't feel like showing you. Moving on. Grade and 5 Director's Cut. Limited edition, which contains the CD, which I'll show you right away. This is the CD soundtrack and the disc, the game disc. And that's Raiden 5 for you. Since there's already Raiden 5 Overkill, no, Raiden 4 Overkill on PlayStation 3. And let's move on. Secret of Mana, remastered from the SNES or Super Famicom game. Which has voice acting in it. And 3D graphics. This game was included with the SNES Classic Edition, just so you know. Thank you for your purchase from Square Enix Product Registration. Next is a metal case. Sending Resonance Refrain, Draconic Launch Edition. Um, I'm not sure what her name was. From uh, from as far as I remember, one of the characters were named um, Sonia. Can't remember her name. Yep, that's her. And whoever that blonde-haired girl with pointy ears is. Where's a kimono or whatnot? Sonia has silver armor and has black hair. The main protect this is a guy with purple hair. And I think he had blue eyes or purple eyes. I think it was blue. Can't quite remember. Nothing to see under there. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I do not remember the girl's name with the, the white hair and dark armor. And she's a lancer, by the way. A lance. Enough said. Next, Soul Calibur 6. Funny thing how this game is zero D rated in Japan. Funny. And, from what I remember, this game did receive a Peggy 16 rating in Europe. Oh, Very deep between the U.S. And somehow, Cero D-rated in Japan. Who knows why? Could be all the suggestive content. Who really knows why? Next, I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Spider-Man. And yes, Spider-Man is slightly older in this game. And I did hear this was the best Spider-Man game there is next to Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube. As well as the Game Boy Advance. And there you go. Here's Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Which contains three of the original games of Spyro, which were released on PS1. Developed by Toys for Bob. Crash Bandicoot Entertainment Trilogy was developed by The Curious Visions. Which had the first Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, and Crash Bandicoot Warped. This game has um, the first Spyro. Uh, let's see. Flower of the Dragon, Ryptos Rage, and Year of the Dragon. Which I have 
both of them on PS1. I don't have Hero of the Dragon on the PS1, but oh well. And yes, I do have the whole trilogy of Crash Bandicoot on PS1. But anyway, enough said. Street Fighter V Arcade Edition. PS4 console exclusive game. I don't know why they never released Street Fighter V on Xbox One. Probably because uh, Capcom ran out of money. <gasps> oh my god! That's 700 years away! Season 1 and 2 character pass, which you know I don't care for. And I think the same situation goes for S and K. They probably ran out of money. And that's why they couldn't release um, King of Fighters 14 on Xbox One. But what are you going to do about it? Moving on. Here's Sword Online Lost Song. I'm going to try to get... Um, Hollow Realization. And yes, that game is going to come out for the Nintendo Switch. We'll just have to wait and see if we'll have a retail version. Moving on. Tekken 7, Day 1 Edition. However, it comes in a dark, darker blue case. The best fights are personal, personal. And yes, they somehow brought over Tekken 7 to Xbox One. Here you go. It includes at least a bonus DLC character, which I don't care for. Code does not expire until 2099. That's 80 years away. This. Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus, developed by Falcom and published by Axis Games. I'm thinking that this game was Zero C rated in Japan. Not sure. But I think it was C rated. Your manual. And your disc. For the creators of The Legend of Heroes, Trail to Cold Steel. Bring your Tokyo Xanadu. Only on PlayStation, Uncharted 4, A Thief Send. The series finale of Uncharted. Not for resale. Going out for The Last Guardian. Which comes out on October 25th, 2016, but got delayed to December 6th of 2016. And what I heard about The Last Guardian, that game was originally going to be released on PS3. And I think this game probably came out in a bundle. And somebody sold it to us. <laughs> Moving on. The Institution of Sonic Forces includes a controller skin. Join the Uprising. Features a DLC code for Persona 5 in there. <laughs> Episode Shadow Classic and Modern Sonic Controls And DLC from Jet Set Radio for Sonic 5, Nights into Dreams, Puyo Puyo, and Super Monkey Ball Expires on November 7th of 2019 And your disc
two games left. This one's under the inbirth EXE Light Ist. Two D fighting steps back into the four no two D fighting steps back to the forefront. New inbirths kick the Hollow Knight battles into overdrive. There. Just your small short manual. Modern day after is released, believe it or not. And last game comes in a steel book. So I got three steel books on PlayStation 4. This one is Yakuza Kiwami. PS4 console exclusive game, Steelbook Edition. There's also Yakuza Kiwami 2, and Yakuza 3 and 4 and 5, no, 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 3 and 4 remasters on PlayStation 4. And I think they'll also have a remaster of Yakuza 5 on PlayStation 4 sometime. You know, action adventure game, Yakuza, Yakuza Kiwami. As Yakuza was originally released in 2005 on the PlayStation 2. And that is all my PlayStation 4 games. As a bonus, I'm going to show you all my controllers that I have <laughs> Final Fantasy 15 controller skin. On that PS4 controller, and here's Sonic Forces on this PlayStation 4 controller. Blue PlayStation 4 controller. A 2 in 1 controller. Street Fighter 5. Fight pad. And here's another fight pad. Fighting commander from Hori. Mini arcade stick by Hori. And those big ass controls. No, those big ass arcade controllers. This one's the Rap 4 Blue. New Arcade Pro 4 Kai. Uh huh. Real Arcade Pro 4 Kai by Hori. This one's a Kanba Obsidian. Um, what's this one? That's <coughs> Razor Pantera. Razor Pantera. Thanks. Or Pantera. What the hell you say it? And the uh, Real Arcade Pro in Hayabusa. From Hori. This one's black and gold. This one's blue, black and silver, and blue and black, I think. Mostly blue. And this is what my PlayStation 4 console looks like. And anyway, that'll do it for my PlayStation 4 collection. And I'll see you all on my PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita game collection. See you all later and ta-ta. Ta-ta for now.